So just to set the stage a little bit, as we know, Google wants to answer your questions and they want to answer your questions in the best way possible. So what they're looking for is results that match, obviously, what's put in that little search bar. I'm going to show you an example of catering in Tucson. And really where we're going to focus in right now is this golden piece of real estate up here at the top of this search result. And now every so often you'll see a very a slightly different view where there's going to be ads above that. Um, there's not any ads present on this search, but what you'll notice is this area right here has a map and it has these three listings, which we call the three pack. So why is Google putting this really great information up at the top of the page? Because these three listings are actually what's called Google My Business listings. So Google has created a listing or a profile there. Well, this has photos. It's got all kinds of really great stuff. Let me just show you one here. It's got links to your website, directions. You can save these listings, addresses, hours, this awesome stuff right here, photos, which is really going to, you know, get your mouth watering if you're looking for a caterer. It's got information about reviews. What are other people saying about you? What kind of a reputation do you have? Here's some more context here for reviews. So as you can see, this is a lot of information that Google is putting out on the web. And you know what? This doesn't have anything to do with your website. It doesn't have anything to do with um, a paid ad campaign that you're running. This is Google's own property, its own profile, its own way of showcasing business. And so I just want to make sure that A, you understand that's what we're really talking about. Here's how it shows up in a search engine and why it's so important. Because as you can see, it's up here at the top. If you keep scrolling, you get to these, what we would call organic listings, and these go to your websites. So this has to do with web. It has to do with SEO um, or other campaigns that you might be running. But this area right up here is free. It is something that's very important and it is something that will absolutely revolutionize the amount of phone calls that you get and how clients are uh, reaching out to you. As you can see, I searched for Catering Tucson and all of these search results right here have this little word next to them called Catering, Catering, Catering. So that means that each of these businesses has selected catering as their primary category. Now, this is key. You're going to need to make a decision about what your primary category for your Google My Business property is going to be. There are, as of 2020, 3,942 different categories that you can select from. As you can see right here, this business, they have uh, their primary category is restaurant. So they obviously offer um, foods um, in person at a restaurant as well as offering catering. But if you want to compete in your industry, you're going to want to find the most specific um, and primary category to your business. So in this example, um, we're looking at catering. You can have up to 10 categories for your business. So this is, you know, as I mentioned up here, this business that has qualified themselves as a restaurant very likely also has a secondary or third or fourth category listed as catering as well. We're not able to see all of the categories. We're only able to see the primary. So that's just a little tip to, you know, maybe do a little bit of competitive research to find out what category your competitors are using. So it's really important that you choose a primary category for your business that is going to best answer um, a searcher's request for information. So as we talked about, Google wants to best answer that question that's happening up here in the search bar. And so the way that you select your primary category is really important. So that is lesson number one. What I want to do is take you over to a actual Google My Business profile. So I've logged in. Now you're going to need to log in to your profile at this URL up here, business.google.com. You're going to need to have your email address connected to your business. So if someone manages your profile for you, make sure that you get added in there uh, or you claim your business listing if you have not done so already. But we were talking just a moment ago in another, uh, in another segment about why it's so important to have a primary category that reflects your business and 
the fact that you can have up to nine more categories. So I just logged in, this is like the dash area and you'll be able to navigate over here on the left. So we're at the home. I'm gonna scroll down here just a little bit and we're going to go to services. So when you click on services, the Google interface here for Google My Business is going to ask you, what do you want to have as your primary category? Now, if you were to, I'm not gonna edit this right now, but if you wanted to edit it, you would click that little icon um, and you're gonna to wanna to select um, the number one and most specific type of work or product or service that you offer. Um, this, as you can see, has a secondary category, which is going to be party planner. Um, the choice that you make here is really is really a critical thing. And what I also want to share with you is that the category can, if you don't claim it and you don't do this work of claiming and setting your primary category, it can be set for you by Google or by the community at large and users. Um, and so it's really important that you pay attention to this because this can impact whether or not you show up in a search uh, looking for catering or whether you don't, whether you have any chance at all at making it to this top portion of the real estate here in search results. So um, if you take nothing else away from this video, I want you to make sure that you have claimed your Google My Business profile and that you have properly set this primary category. Now, if you don't have a ton of other things that you do, let's say in this example that it's really catering and party planning, you don't want to go ahead and add any additional um, categories or, or sections to your site here for services, you really want to focus in on the real legitimate core of your business because it waters it down. If you, if I was to add in a paper plate supplier and, you know, decorations or something like that to this listing, it actually takes, um, the emphasis and the power of Google's algorithm, which is just another fancy way to say a formula that, you know, shows the importance of, of various things, it's gonna kind of water that down and it's gonna make it more difficult for you to show up for any of these categories at all. So be intentional um, about what you're choosing and also be very mindful of, of choosing categories that are key to your, uh, to your business. As I mentioned um, in another segment here, you're not able to see any secondary categories for your competition, but what you can see is just making sure that uh, the primary category that you believe your primary competitors are using is the same one that you want to compete on um, so that you don't miss out on that market share. So just a quick look at the dashboard of Google My Business, and you can see here in services, you're able to select your primary and your secondary category. So that's where I wanted to show you today how you can recapture and just see what a difference it makes to claim your listing um, and to make sure that you have your primary category selected inside this very valuable tool. I'll be sharing some more information about other aspects. As you can see, the Google My Business directory is just chock full of all kinds of really awesome tools and we want to share how you can take advantage of that in your business.